here with Danny Garcia. What's good with you, Dan? Chilling, enjoying the beautiful night of boxing. Uh, okay. How'd your first night go as a promoter? How do you uh, feel about it, it in the great. city of Atlantic City? A, to me, it was a great turnout. You know, my first uh, co-promotion with Joe Frazier. You know, I definitely learned a lot in this in this um, this timeline of doing this for the uh, first week. So definitely, I feel good. I feel happy because I know that if we can bring this much. We can bring we can fill out ten thousand one day, fifteen thousand. So definitely excited. Is this the progression of Danny Garcia from fighter to promoter? Definitely. I always want to be our champ. All right, you man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, sure. Definitely, definitely. When um, you can't fight forever. So at that, at this time, I'm gonna start giving back to fighters, giving fighters my platform, and you know, make make big moves in the sport of boxing. You mentioned a couple big fights. Aaron Slaney, Laura, and Garcia look like it's not gonna happen. Who do you have in mind on fighting? Uh, that's well, that's the fight. That's the fight. The fight is still agreed. Me and him both agreed to fighting. Uh, we're just waiting on the date and time. That's it. After his last win in the Prudential Center, Thomas Lamana, number four ranked WBA, was calling you, Lara, you bank out. How do you feel about that? I want to mind some easy money. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some easy money. I deserve an easy money play. So now, no, uh, Corn Flakes, my guy, man. Like I said before, if it makes sense, then let's make it happen. Do you even hear this? My, my, my focus is on uh, Lara for now.